This model can look complex, but it's actually pretty straightforward. If we look at the basics here, we have the testes, we have the epididymis, and then we have the vas deferens or the ductus deferens coming up from there. Don't forget where we are, okay? If we put this sort of into perspective, we have the same structures here. This is the testes, this is the epididymis, and then up the spermatic cord, you'll remember inside the spermatic cord is that vas deferens, or that ductus deferens. You can see it right here. So a couple of the structures that I just want to point out here. If we look on this side, that's been sectioned off, we have these squiggly lines inside each of these little caverns here. These are called seminiferous tubules. Seminiferous tubules then lead into the reti testes. That's this region right here, the reti testes. From here, we go into the epididymis. And as these lines lead up, the epididymis, you'll see, has all these coiled structures that eventually lead all their way to the vas deferens, or the ductus deferens. And it's this ductus deferens that's going to travel up the spermatic cord. It's going to go superior make its way towards that inguinal canal and then into the body.